What's up, Thomas? How's it hanging, homie? Oh, nice place you got here, Thomas. How much you paying rent? Please don't touch that. It's over 200 years old. Jeez, with all this money, you think the guy could afford new plates? Davis and Peter Paul Coney. Oh, so happy you could come. I'm Frank Hillhurst. Davis. Peter. Uh, please, sit down. Sit down. Uh, this is Mr. Bennett. Thomas, would you bring us some tea, please? I really appreciate what you did in the park. Not many people these days would step in to help somebody else. I'm very grateful to both of you. No problem. Those guys were after you, huh? Ah, oh, that's not really any of your business. The hell it isn't. These guys risked their lives. They've got a right to know. The men in the park were hired assassins. They were sent to stop me from testifying against an organized crime boss. And if it wasn't for your help, they would have succeeded. You boys really did a job on those hoods. Where did you learn to handle yourselves like that? In the military? Yeah, we were that kid's either got to learn how to fight or learn how to hurt. We got tired of hurting. David? Peter, I want to offer you a job. I have to go out of town tomorrow for a preliminary hearing. And I'd like you to stay here and look after my nephew. I'll only be gone a week. But I'll pay you $2,500 a day. Each. Five thousand dollars a day to babysit for a week? That's thirty-five thousand bucks. Mr. Hilvers, we have already been through all this. My people will provide security for your nephews. Bernard, I haven't seen your people do squat. I know what these guys can do. So what do you say? Will you take the job? We'll take it. I've been taking care of the boys. Ever since my brother and his wife died in an accident six months ago. Pretty tough on the kids, huh? Now, Stephen, he's the shy one. He took it a little harder, but, but Bradley, Bradley, on the other hand, Bradley is obstreperous. Gee, I hope it ain't catches. You must be excusing my brother. He needs electrocution lessons. I'm anxious for you to meet the boys. I just know you're going to get on so well together. Bradley, Stephen, would you come up here a second? Okay. Okay. Yes, Uncle Frank? Come on. Don't be shy. Let me introduce you. This is Bradley. And this is Stephen. Boys, this is Peter and David Falcone. They're going to be staying with you for a few days. Yo, we're the babysitters. Maybe I should call the front desk and tell them Mr. Renswick will be checking out early. Oh, and security's been increased. Hillhurst has hired those two men from the park to look after his nephews. Listen, if we can't get to Hillhurst before he rolls over, you know what to do. My people will patrol the grounds of the perimeter of the estate. As a security precaution, we ask that you remain confined to the premises. In other words, don't leave. All right, I'll be checking in with you every day by phone. If there's an emergency, Thomas knows where to reach me. Anything else you need will be provided by the staff. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. Hilders. Everything will be cool. The police won't hold the streets all day.
watch over them. They're the only family that I have. No, no, that's Mr. Hilder. Yeah, we'll take good care of them. you take this cleanser and go out there and see if you can get some of that ghost blood up off the patio. Oh, great. This is my best ripped up shirt, man. Now it's ruined. I like it, man. It's little kids. Mm, little monsters more. I like it. Especially that Bradley. He's the evil twin. I wouldn't want to be standing on a ladder with him holding it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's like our common catching up with us, you know? Remember what we used to do to our babysitters? Unspeakable atrocities! <laughs> we could be in serious trouble. Hold up, man. Don't forget these kids are orphans. They're trying to push people away because they think if they ever get close to anyone, they'll abandon them. Ain't that a diaper full of shit? Seriously. All we've got to do to win them over is show them that they could trust us. Yeah? How do we do that? Remember what Mama always said? The weight on man's stomach is true as mouth. And my special secret to making a bolognese sauce is to add a little shot of Dr. Pepper. Now, Penny, try that. That is delicious, Davey. Of course. Man, yeah, but I'm afraid you're gonna waste your whole afternoon because all those children ever eat is peanut butter and bologna. Well, it's no wonder they're so hostile. The kids are starving. <laughs> Thomas, what are you doing standing behind the door? It's okay, Tom, leave it. Why don't you go get the kids and bring it to the table? Because I can't wait. Amen. Amen. Mm. 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 
What's the matter? Why aren't you kids eating? We don't want this. We want peanut butter and bologna. Mmm. Let's try this. This is better. No. Just try it. It's delicious. You'll like it. No. Come on. I've been sleeping my tits over a hot stove all afternoon. Now, come on. Eat it. Maybe you don't get it, musclehead. <laughs> no. the children. I don't know, probably upstairs tearing the heads off now. Sure are quiet. You're cooking. <laughs> What's the matter with you staring a person like that? You could have given us a coronation or something. Yeah, that wasn't funny. Oh, yes, it was. You should have seen your face. Ha, ha, ha. I'll show you how funny it is. Come on, baby. It's just a joke. <laughs> Let up. No, no mercy. Uncle Frank probably likes these guys. He's gonna get really mad. What do we care about Uncle Frank? He doesn't care about us. Nobody cares about us. We're the only ones we can count on. So we have to stick together, right? Right? No mercy. Can I 
help you? I was, uh, uh, just checking the boys. The boys are fine. Yes. Yes. Uh, well then, I'll say goodnight. Goodnight. Later. I hope you don't mind, but I've taken the liberty of inviting a few people over to hear your deposition. This is William Kelly.